For me, it's all about playing show and tell. You have the audience, they're using it. The more that you can just put your 11,000 people and use the tool and show how many people opened up the text and how many people are using the software and the benefits that people are going through. You know, I wanted to see how many clients went through X number of, of modules this week. I think the more you can do that will attract more people to you versus trying to sell the software. What's, what's more a big question? Just if, if, hey, if it was us, like how would we acquire members or like, you know what I mean? Like where's, where's the... The yeah, how, how, how would you how would you market this? How would you cust basic customer acquisition? Yeah, I, I, I think uh, first thing that comes to my mind is man, I hate the price. Damn it. The price, the the price feels really pricey. Yeah, because, um, yeah. So, yeah, just because I'm like, all right, I, I understand like I do. I get exactly why you created this roadmap onboarding survey because it's like look someone comes into a membership the hardest part is just getting them to do the first thing if they take the first action they will stick and they will go forever so you build a software out because it does all this for you guys so you're like look even if you never sold it you just use it for your business because this just makes sense and it's a good move so check check i get it my problem is is that i really like this and i get it and i'm just not i'm like a percentage or percentage of the market right like i just i i'm like if i'm you right now i'm like you probably know all of the people. And if you don't know them, they're at least a phone call or two away from who would use it. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost like is the, is the best strategy, like fuck it, like two months of like, you and your top guys just hitting up the real players in the space and be like, bro, I see your Facebook group, you know, or take like Dan, like, right. We know, but Ryan Stuman, if you met Ryan Stuman, Ray. Like yeah, Ryan I know Ryan. Yeah. yeah. Right. So he's got his big sales group, right. That would be like a great person who I think this would be killer for, but it's like, you got to run an ad to Ryan, right? You're just going to fucking call him, you know? Sure. So like, great I, great, I guess great I'm point. Missing, yeah, I, I guess I'm missing like the big, the mainstream value proposition outside of like us. You, you know what I mean? Like, where's like the, I'm almost like my brain goes, is there a singular feature in there that can almost be like, you, you mentioned white label, can like a singular feature in here be, solely sold like you know even just like the survey to like this is where you go first i love that idea i think that solves problems i think texting with your people versus putting it in a group where they see one person to me that value proposition is amazing it's like look are you freaking you know trying to post to get a hold of your group when nobody's gonna see it or do you want to text right. and get 99 percent? like i'm kind of looking for like the big like shit you know what this is this is worth it. I'm just speaking out loud. Well, more I, me, let me, yeah. let me you, say one. Did, go ahead, and did Ray. you say you didn't like the price? Is that, I, did, that I, did, I, I didn't like the price because for me, so for example, I got approached a couple of times by some friends in the space with different software. It doesn't do the same thing, but like every time there's a price per person for me personally, maybe I just get stingy. I'm just like, nah, like it just most feels like you own part of my company with me. And so I'm really you know, big on that. And I don't like speaking anecdotally and like mastermind style, but because I think I am a customer potentially like with my customer shoes on, that would get me. If you told me 5k setup fee and you'd integrate people, I like that. The concierge service, that's good. Cause that would be a pain in the butt, you know, like take our genius advantage, uh, membership group, probably have like 11,000 people in there. I'm like, the communication is difficult at times, right? We don't have a hub where it's easier to com uh, communicate. So I'm, I'm interested in that. But then like at five, five per month, I'm, I'm like, hey. well, five setup, not per month. No, no. Yeah. It's five, it's five, five K setup and five. But, but here's five, what I would say, Ray, right? what I think that there's a element of your industry that I get, cause I was in that space Yeah, is a lot of the, the leaders that co do coaching now were successful um, as network marketers, whether they're still building is always iffy. Some of them just go into coaching. But if, if it, it could be different now, I think that the ones that do well are the ones who have the brand equity and the authority, right? So what I think this brand, this software that you're doing gives a person that may be getting started a leverage point as a reason for someone to either get started with them in their business. Is that the route you're going? Like when they white label the software, like, like they now have an added extra bonus thing that they can offer to their team for getting started is that the, the idea or is it just total separate just use this this is just 
a total like side software type of play? Well, how, I mean, we have right now we have, um, two number one income earners that have, um, you know, and they, and they sell it for like 10 bucks per person. Right. Mm -hmm. And what, what each person does with the revenue is very different. Some yeah. donate it, some divvy it out amongst their leaders, some, you know, keep it. And, and so, you know, what, what they're doing is they're telling their team, Hey, um, we got this extremely organized and you can, you know, we have personal, you know, journaling in there. We have goal setting, we have, there's, there's a lot of other, you know, pieces in there. And, um, and so they're going to their team and their team feels like it's just a lot easier for them to find answers and a lot easier for them to onboard their new reps. So usually mm -hmm. it's an existing leader, like, you know, usually, we, we've been going after, and, and we haven't even started marketing it really i've really right. just been doing what what billy was talking about and just made a few calls and we brought in some yeah. some people which i can do more of and i and i will yeah. um and uh, yeah, I'm, i am like when i'm listening i'm like right now i think it is a perfect like escalation with like knowing a little bit about your background and how like you know you're the guy in your space i think the second that you start going into oh well, this software can be used in everything i think it's hard because you're just competing okay. now with so much shit right like i thought of like Kajabi and like every other software and everything's so much cheaper and like it just it just feels like an uphill battle also finding unicorns and needles in a haystack versus what you just said right there my eyes got big I was like oh okay people want to be right they have they built their teams etc but they want a community for their people don't start a Facebook you go there and just it's another piece of your value ladder because right it's a software the multiples are fucking insane so it's not like you need a ton of people especially like with prices like this so I like it as like okay hey you know, you come in entry level uh, as a as a trainee trying to figure out this game. Now you're independent. You got enough to survive. Now you're thriving. Now you have community and leadership. Now you're coaching and now you're teaching. Oh, you're teaching now. Well, now you need to come and use my software. You know what I mean? It's right. just almost like an ascended is how I see it. You know, not like derailing on it too much, but just like it's there. And then, you know, you look up in three and a half years and flip some shit is how my brain goes because i think you know not that it's impossible anything you can do anything but like it's i i just think it's a really uphill battle trying to like i'm I, my my obsession my like singular skill set is advertising and like i don't i probably would like even me i probably wouldn't run many ads to it i would just use my network and your reach and your pool to blow it makes up. sense dan makes what, do, what sense. are your thoughts i wouldn't do any general marketing at all i would only go whale hunting because going after clients that have like when he mentioned Ryan Stuman with 80,000 members, it would take you 67 different people that yeah. have 200 to 800. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's 60 headaches and 67 different onboardings and seven different clients and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Compared to one guy that's got 80,000 people or 5,000 people or 1,000 or 10,000, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, the way I would do it is two ways. One, I would get press that is specifically focused on high-end entrepreneur press, not the fake press or general press specifically that business owners read like the success magazine type articles um, where you know people that are reading success magazine are specifically in network marketing entrepreneur world it's not bigger it's not a big database of people that are reading it but the people that are reading it are your actual potential client and i would have you or someone like you speaking at events that are the higher end paid business events not the general you know 300 entrepreneurs that paid 200 bucks tickets but the more expensive ones, like you speaking at War Room or you speaking at a mastermind or you speaking at a uh, traffic and conversion summit, like you or someone like you speaking at these events, those rooms have the people that you want. And your close ratio is what, it's what Russell Brunson does with ClickFunnels. The reason Russell does so well selling two, three million bucks on stage at 10X, he, by the way, he would have sold 10 to 15 million that day at 10X if Grant didn't sell 18 things prior to him speaking right right for three days <laughs> wait did you see did you see him just bring and out Trump the, at the event anybody see I that, saw that yeah i, I was like yo that, that, <laughs> that, that motherfucker fires me up because i'm like man i it's like i don't care if you like trump or not the way he's elevating his brand by yeah. just like every time i see brand grant i'm like even now like i have our padres event at the stadium i'm like dan that's why i was gonna say i was thinking of you i'm like all right i need i need to just stroke a check for somebody big like you know what i mean he forces you to play bigger not to do well but yeah that was what he does yeah wait wait so you see he's got one more surprise guest that's even bigger um really stop so, it oh. 
Really? Now you got us. Now we got to talk about that. Maybe off cam. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna say I need to know that. Bigger and bigger in a different light. Anyways, yeah. um, I would be thinking of you speaking at. See, you speaking at 10x is not the same because in that example, that's three thousand newbies, medium right. size, right? You speaking at the 10x to their mastermind group that paid ten thousand a ticket. That's your clients, right? Yeah. And I and, but and I did um I did speak at, at one of Grant's masterminds and connected with a few people there. So yeah, I, I definitely get the distinction. That makes sense. That's awesome. Well, the reason they, that oh great does well is because he speaks for 90 minutes explaining click funnels and explaining why it's really hard. So just pay me two grand. It's the same thing for you. Like you teaching, literally just watch what Russell does. He just talks about how hard it is to do what he does for companies. And then just buy my stuff, right? Like Billy says. So I, I just think for you, whether it's you or someone like you at the company, because events are back in full effect. Like I'm speaking 12 times, sometimes 16 times in a month. So like wow. events are back full steam ahead. It's an, it's insanity. But, the, but what you have to offer, you could be teaching about it. And by teaching about it, you're not selling. Does that, does that make sense? Like yeah. You're, about why facebook groups are okay or they suck why you use this platform to do this 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 and this why is this valuable why is this valuable why is this valuable why do you need nurturing why do you need texting why do you need onboarding teaching through that whole process oh yeah by the way you can buy it from me if you guys want i can do it for you for five bucks a month like you're just teaching the whole time about why you do it for your own self for your 11,000 customers so it edifies you and then at the end like oh yeah by the way it's only five grand and five bucks a month, and we'll just do it all for you. Because I know it's, it sounds really complicated, because it is. We'll just do it for you. I nice. love it. I, I love would it. Say and this is the message. Oh, sorry, Vince. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was going to say the the message just behind it too. It's like I do think, and it's like I think when you put it on a public forum and like an ad, it gets taken like it's kind of spammy. But I think to the right people that Dan was talking about, they'll get it. Which is really the biggest benefit is hey, you've been an operator of your business, you've been in the trenches, you're paying time for dollar, but you need to fucking get into the teaching space, right? Like you should be getting like, you're crazy for not putting another seven figures in your pocket by teaching. I've been teaching forever. You literally get fucking taught more people than probably everybody in your industry. Like that is the hot button. And then this is the tool to do it. You know, exactly what Dan was saying is like, look, you've done everything, et cetera, but time to get your fucking time back. You know, truth is like, I got a group, 11,000 people in there paying 27 bucks a month. And guys, it literally takes me five minutes a day. I'm chilling with my family, et cetera. So if you're balling and you made it, but you feel like you ain't got your time back yet, then you need to get into the teaching space. You're going to need to onboard. You're going to need to stay community, et cetera. Make it sound super hard or just fucking pay me five grand right now. And just five bucks a person. I'll be your back end team member from there. Honestly, the person you should talk to is uh, Bradley. Have you talked to Bradley? I, I haven't about this. I know I know who he is. I don't I don't know him personally. Yeah. So you should talk to Brad because honestly, his light speed, he has a software for hosting courses. It is very similar. Well, it's not it's not similar in some of the center, but his model of pay me a fee plus give me a percentage off of every person. I think he, that how is how Grant had his platform at first initially. I don't think it's so anymore. But nonetheless, he literally has built this, found those those whales as Dan's talking about. Like if there's anybody who would be worth the time to like, and I can, I can link you up and Dan can link you up or, you know, it would be yeah. worth, you know, hitting them up. Cool. Yeah, please. That'd be great. Well, where we are. I don't want to take up all the time. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I literally, we hit, we, we hit just 20. I try to get everybody 20. Um, but I do have one well, thing that I would say. Thank um, you. On top of this, um, Ray, I, I, I love it because I know the space. Um, but I think like I, we talked about it briefly. For me, it's all about playing show and tell. Like you have the audience, they're using it. The more that you can just put your 11,000 people and use the tool and show how many people opened up the text and show how many people are in the group and how many people are using the software and the benefits that the people are going through. You know, I wanted to see how many clients went through X number of, of modules this week. So I, I just pushed this and saw it. I think the more you can do that will attract more people to you versus trying to sell the software. Yeah. So I would just shift my focus to using it for your, your community of 11,000. And then reaching out to whales that everyone else said is my plan is your plan for marketing it. That's what I would, I would say on that.
I hope you enjoyed the show. We're having a lot of fun with the Battle Mastermind and we're gonna keep them coming for you. But you got to do me one favor. And that's just hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you on the internet. Later.